gonna take you into my supplement locker, into my trailer, all the behind the scenes. What's up, Flomies? We are in my tack room. I'm going to get ready for this weekend. My schedule is Slack at Lawton tomorrow morning, then the next night, Marshall, Minnesota, and the next night, Ladysmith, Wisconsin. So I'm gonna take you into my supplement locker, into my trailer, all the behind the scenes, show you exactly how I'm gonna get loaded up. So here we go. So as you guys know, I am sponsored by Forefront Equine. I have been giving you guys these. I hope that you are living for them this month still. Code Fallon gets you 10% off. Without like the whole sponsorship lay down, like I actually use this stuff. A lot of people can be sponsored and they just do it to pay their bills. I actually use it with every performance horse that's in the barn. Um, I use the supplement before I was assigned athlete. So I don't mind spilling the tea if I don't like something. Don't worry, that's why you're subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed. Ding that notification bell because I would spill the tea on all sorts of stuff that I review and love and don't love. So this is the main reason that I thought that this supplement company was so revolutionary. You can buy the supplement like this and inside of this bag are these packs like this. You can also get it in a jar like this if you're at home. But if you're like me and you travel a lot, this is the way to go. So this is one feeding in the morning. I've got two horses going with me. So instead of packing all the things that are in this supplement, I just have to pack these. Like, how amazing is that? So, I feed total equine feed. I put that supplement on top every single morning, and that's gonna be my supplementation for the weekend. Now, on top of that, I'm gonna use Four Light, and I love Four Calm for Baby Flow only. I'm not going to use that on Knick Knack. I'm taking both Knick Knack and Baby Flow this weekend. But Four Calm is, you guys see me take Brain Bridge by Man Sports. This is the brain bridge for horses. So I give 20 cc's on baby flow. Actually, I give her 10, 30 minutes before I go. On my hotter horses, I give 20 cc's an hour before. So I'm just gonna take one tube of this. And then because it is freaking 1000 degrees outside, I'm going to take four light. And again, this stuff is super cost effective, especially with my code, because it doesn't take a ton of product to get the same effect and you get a code and it's cheaper to begin with. So this is Four Light, the Electrolyte. This is branded product um, that I helped formulate with Forefront myself. And this is something that I'm gonna give to my horses the day of travel. So they're gonna get it Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday um, because we'll be traveling eight hour days and getting them to drink is a big deal on the road to make sure that my horse is an athlete when we get off the trailer and not a dehydrated just like walking dead machine. We want a horse that comes out ready to perform. The next thing that we're gonna get to take is Forerunner. Now I'm gonna give this to her after her runs. She's gonna get 20 cc's right after. So I'm gonna let her have a drink and then I'm gonna give her Forerunner paste. This has got a probiotic to help with her guts and also helps with circulation and recovery. So big deal to me. Of all the things I use, those are my top favorites. I do use um, different supplements for different horses. We'll get into that in a different video. I am not sponsored by Spurs Big Fix. I am that big of a fan of the entire product line. So yeah, if you guys see that, that's why I love that product. Okay, we will continue to load up the horse trailer. I'll show you what else I'm gonna do. Because I am the rainmaker, it is kind of showering here, um, but I'm gonna take you through all the stuff and things that are in this trailer. So Earl had his way with this back on track boot. So we're gonna opt out on taking this one, but I do just put back wraps on the girls when they travel. Um, they are pretty naughty in the trailer. So I'm gonna take this, which is actually intended to be a front boot, but who cares? It'll work just fine. And then this, I'm pretty sure, is two back boots. Both of them are lefts. So I'm just gonna use them, you know, these things are too expensive. I'm not gonna throw them away. Crazy. I'll take you guys through what's in here. Um, but these are gonna go in the back. So I'll throw them outside for now. Give Earl back his chew toy. I'm just kidding. I'm too cheap to throw this away. So this is definitely gonna stay with the mess ups and all because back on tracks are not cheap. In here, I've got my Troxel helmets, which I love so much. By the way, this one is like my favorite and I don't wear it enough. This one right here, I love this one. Probably because it's a size medium and I wear a size small, but that dial fit piece, I can crank it down anyway. 
Um, in here, I've got my G&G hats and then a lot of my helmets. These bad boys are magnetic, but still the hats are going to end up in the floor somehow, some way. Um, in here, this is going to be my little, my little Annie pile. I've got a leash. I have her dog food. I've got a Frisbee. I've got all her stuff right there. Then in here, in here I have outfits. I used to only wear these slinky leotard numbers. Now I'm kind of going more toward this. So shout out to uh, Hitchley and Harrow because I really have always loved these. And then of course I'm going to wear my tennis shoe boots. I just am bringing navy. I have every color, but bringing navy because I feel like it goes with everything. So let's open up. Here are my ranch dress and jeans. Um, I love, love, love these styles. And I do have a pair of the old school neon tie dye because I live for them. So if I decide to have one of those kind of moments, there we go. Um, but I'll probably be wearing some of these and some of the hustle kick denim for slack. Down here, I've got some breeches. I have my mounted shooting pistols. <laughs> and I've got some um, leggings that I'll just use for workout stuff. My goal is to put everything in this bottom drawer and then just have a little bag. So I have this little like what I call old lady market stroller thing. I'll just throw all my stuff and just go into the hotel with that instead of just a giant bag. But I just know myself like I'm going to go with some giant, giant, giant bag. All right, let's go in here. This is pretty empty over here. I am just proud of myself for having closet availability. So it looks like Ranch Dressin needs to make some new rodeo shirts because I need to fill that bad boy up. In here, this is just like stuff and things. I think, oh, and some donut socks, or as Flynn says, foot tarpet. Down here, this is, this is an important drawer. Got B-roll on me cleaning, I got B-roll in the trailer. B-roll making it look like I've got my whole life together. Okay, this is freaking amazing. This is Axe Anarchy for her. This should be in everyone's purse. This is amazing. Here's another thing if you've ever dieted in your life that you need, and that's Tony's. Um, the two things that I have to have in the trailer is protein. Can't leave home without that. And Brain Bridge. This is my pre-run routine. So I take this little funnel, and then we have bottles of water that we're going to load up in our um, ice chest. So can't run without that. Can't live without that. I don't recommend leaving it in your horse trailer because it'll get where it's like hard but mine has not so it's still powdery but i do recommend keeping it cooler than what i keep it don't don't do that here's some books that i've been given that i'm working my way through shout out to jess those two books are something i'm going to be playing with this weekend and then in here are polo wraps some bell boots we have all sorts of stuff and things in here and of course Saddle sacks on saddle sacks on saddle sacks. This is where my matching tax sets are. Kids, if you had to stay in school just so you'd be able to be able to get tax sets, that should be motivation enough to get straight A's because my Barbie dreamland consists of how much tack I can accumulate in my horse trailer. So I just like, I live for tack. I live, live, live for tack. So this is part of the tack collection. In my horse trailer with the coolest one of the coolest parts is that I have a poly last floor in here so no shavings which means the baby flow doesn't have to breathe in any dust which is the coolest thing ever because it took me a long time to save up for various things and I would save all over again to get a poly last floor because not only did they add sparkles to it to make me feel like a magical unicorn but they also it, it eliminates all the dust in here for her so that's a really cool thing if you can ever save up for just that even if your trailer is just like not so great this is an amazing addition so i pack my trailer with only hx hay nets because they're um slow feeding hay nets 
I just think it's a lot better. I want my horses to always have hay 24 hours a day. So I pre-pack them because I'm a cheapskate and I buy my hay in bulk because it's a lot cheaper if you can do it than buying smaller bales. So I pre-pack them at home so I don't have to buy expensive stuff on the road that I'm not familiar with. And then I am packing one bag of total feeds because that's all it's gonna take for me. So if you guys can um, check out, if you do not know who this dude is, He's a really good dude, and he literally will talk to you on the phone and talk to you about your horse's needs. I won't feed anything else. That's amazing. And I'm not paid to say that. I love that feed. Okay, we're gonna keep vlogs real. Let's be real. I really quick tried to clean my trailer out before I showed you, but like, let's cut the crap. I went treasure hunting in my own trailer. What did I find? I found the matching one to this, so now I don't have two of the opposite. So these back on tracks, which I'll leave in the barn for in the morning because we're leaving at 4.30 a.m. Found that, and I found this bad boy. So I kind of have less mismatched sets for in the morning, which is great news. I don't have to use them all backwards and funky. I still have some like, I still have some issues, okay, don't we all? But a couple of them have been solved. So the mystery of the missing bell boot has been solved. Now we have these I'm gonna put back in. These I will use in the morning for both of the mares. This one has gotten pretty funky, but I'll be honest, this is from the 2015 NFR, almost three years old. These things were a gift and they're amazing. We'll set these out for in the morning. Okay, I do have like 95 saddle sacks because I do run in them. They all have gum in them. Shout out to Flomies that bring me gum. I'm gonna put these actually in the front of the trailer. I am bringing my hackamore that I run baby flow in. Ah, oh, there's my saddle sacks, boom. See what else we have in here. I have a Serape piece. I have that unicorn piece. I have that leopard piece. So I'm gonna put all my saddle stacks in here so I can color coordinate. Okay. So I've got knickknacks bridle right here and I've got my backup bridle for baby flow which is an O-ring with a square mouthpiece and a double dan cavison. I do bring my lunge line to lunge these horses every single day. And let's go over the saddles I'm gonna bring. So I have got my Brazilian saddle. And of course I've gotta use very different saddle pads from the Brazilian to my Bob Marshall, which is right here. I'm actually gonna take this breast collar off so it travels a little bit better. So I travel with these two saddles, a sports saddle and a Brazilian. It just kinda of depends on how I'm feeling that day. I just, I use a different one depending on the day. So. I'm gonna wear this pink or this purple for sure because of my outfits. I've already kind of looked through those and the polo wrap situations, all the head stall situations that we've got going on up there. Um, I'm actually not gonna bring these. I have my ice vibes. They're good, um, but they require a refrigerator. I've got a little trick I can show you guys with some splint boots. So I'm gonna keep these here at the ranch in the refrigerator. I am gonna bring this back on track um, sheet. Back on track is like the Sephora of horses. Like you spend so much money and you don't even know what happened. This pad I love. I'm gonna make sure and bring this. This is my little five star, three quarter inch. I've got three of these. Um, this one's, actually these are half inch, these are three quarters. So I'm gonna bring all of those. In here, I've got various things. So this is just my conditioner. I do like this super bouge um, tack conditioner. I learned in the English world to clean my tack a lot better coat conditioner, um, I bring Spurs Big fi Fix, Hoof Fix, this is the mane and tail, I bring sunblock for myself, these are the four, tr four treats, so those are for after run, I love and live for Peppy, I love the way it smells, I love the way, I just love it, then I have a big, so this is for my tack, and then this big sponge, I actually will dip in her water, and just put some on her, under her neck and down her legs after I run her, just so that she can cool off, um, especially during the summer months. Um, I do carry this little cosmetics bag. I already loaded my supplements, but I do carry this little bag full of Four Calm just in case I need it. And it looks like I've double packed, so. I've double packed. It's so small and light that like, why not? So that's what's in there. Oh. These little fly masks, I talked about these this morning in Barrel Racing College if you're in there, but I'm going to pack with these um, while I travel because the girls get funk in their eyes just like any other horse. So 
I'm gonna be traveling with these bad boys. I'm almost packed up, almost done. So some things that I am adding to the pile, I know I'm only making three runs, this is how I pack. Um, these bell boots that I live for, right here, not these. These are amazing, can't leave home without them. And then, um, I am gonna try out potentially this five star set. I may just use the, um, the mohair cinch because the black, look at the black croc, it's so cute. And I had them make me a hot pink and black saddle pad. I may do this whole scenario just because I think it's so pretty. So I may use this whole thing, I'm gonna pack it. Since I'm gonna be rodeo on all weekend and I have a photo shoot with Sunday brunch next week, I'm busting out my birthday present. I'm so excited, are you ready? Ah! I haven't even put my leathers and irons on it yet, but there she is, Alex's birthday present to me. I'm so excited. The thing is, is that Sunday brunch had an owie and so she got two weeks off and now she has this and the new saddle is a little different and the way that these English cinches I know it's a burr but you'll tell me in the comments anyway is we got a little we got an issue here and if I don't get to ride this saddle today I'm gonna freak out because I've waited so long Ooh, suck it in I know it's supposed to go under this thingy. I just don't always do it because it's a pain. And I see English people skip it too. Can we just put a latigo on this thing and go around a few times and just like, you know, there's a better way. And then listen, she has a good sense of humor because in 10 seconds, she's going to exhale and the saddle's gonna roll underneath her because it's gonna be so loose and I'll have to take it up to the moon. I like a horse with a good sense of humor. Okay, so this is my new 2G S by CWD. The pad, I can't remember where I got this, but I thought it was just like adorable. I know some people will be totally annoyed and by those people. Um, yeah, you just, you just click the end video button and there you go, I'm done, I'm done annoying you. I'm gonna do some little pink splint boots for her. Probably barrel racer splint boots because I know right where they are. And some hot pink bell boots that are super annoying too. And of course, I have a hot pink fly bell, but I'm not gonna go there today because I'm just, I'm just not into being that extra, but these are pretty amazing. <laughs> Aren't those pretty cute? Wow. We're not gonna use them on a muddy day. Wow. But they're really cool. Oh yeah, for sure doing the pink sparkly boots. 100%. I was gonna drive somebody nuts, and I am excited about it. I think we're ready. catch that moment make sure and look in the description it'll be linked up down there that is it for today I gotta get up at 4 a.m. get my booty to a rodeo so if you're not already subscribed make sure to get subscribed don't forget to count your blessings drink your protein and say thank you to Jesus see you tomorrow